good afternoon so today we will discuss about international shore connection so this is an international shore connection box and these are the details we will discuss all of this in detail so let us start watching the video so the international shore connection is basically used to get a common link between the shore hydrant and the ship's firemen remember different types of ship will have different type of fire hydrant so that fire hydrant type and size cannot be standardized but the shore connection you can standardize it so what the international shore connection is going to do is it's going to have one side of the flange with international standards and that going that side can be connected to the shore hydrant side and the other side is going to be of your ship's specific hydrant so this hydrant you can directly either connect it connect to your ship's fire hydrant because all couplings are going to be male and female so you can either connect it directly to your ship or you can rig a fire hose from the international shore connection and connect it to your ship's hydrant so this is the basically the reason why international shore connection is given so at least if you have one uh, host to charge your fire main you can fight fire somewhere else on your ship because you can isolate your fire main and at one point if you put the water at least from the other side the fire main will get charged and from other other side you can fight the fire using your ship's fire hose now there are locations that are to be specific for international shore connection where it is going to be kept is basically as per your ship's fire control and safety plan so you should always make sure that your international shore connection is as per your ship's fire control and safety plan and mostly it is in a place that is going to be accessible by the fire brigade now the dimensions i will show it to you along with the explanation then it is going to be a better understanding so this is our international shore connection it will be kept inside a box and this symbol is the imo symbol for international shore connection so once i open the box we will be able to see the international shore connection i have kept all these dimensions here so that you can read it as you watch the video so the international shore connection i am taking it out from the box this is the international shore connection and the associated rubber packing you can see this now these have some certain dimensions see this is practically your ship's hydrant so this dimension will be in accordance with your ship now the standards are for this place this is the outer diameter this the outer diameter should be 178 mm and the inner diameter should be 64 mm now the bolt circle diameter this is the bolt circle this diameter should be 132 mm now this bolt they will be having four slots all these slots should have a diameter of minimum 19 mm and the flange thickness this is the flange thickness the flange thickness should be at least 14.5 mm now there are requirements for bolts and nuts the bolts and nuts should be four in number and should have a length of minimum 50 mm and a dia of 16 mm so these are the bolts and nuts I'm replacing it so these are the bolts and nuts it looks a little bit dirty but this is basically grease uh, 
applied so that it can be easily used in case of an emergency and washers should be 8 in number so each of the bolt and nut should include two washers each so these are the two washers so these are the requirements and we have certain extra washers inside just for the case of emergency now let us go and try out our international shore connection i'll show you how it can be used before trying out the international shore connection let me show you something else that is important this is the ship's fire and safety plan in the ship's fire and safety plan the number and the location of the international shore connection is given you can see the international shore connection the number and on top is the place where that has to be kept now let us try out the international shore connection now this is the international shore connection with one side as per our ship specific hydrant and the other side is the flange so we will open our ship's hydrant cap and as you can see the ship side of the international shore connection will align perfectly with our hydrant so let me rig it in now after i rigged it in i'll turn it and lock it now the shore side will be having a hose and their hose will have at one side the same specific as our international shore connection. So that will become a perfect fit and the four slots you can uh, put the bolts and tighten it. Then when the water is pumped in and our hydrant is opened, what is going to happen is we are going to pressurize our ship's fire main suppose the international source connection of the port is fixed on the land how we are going to use it is we will use a fire hose and we will connect the fire hose to our fire hydrant and at the other end of the fire hose we will connect to the international shore connection now this side can be taken out to the land and connected to the flange of the port so once the water is pumped in and our hydrant cap is open again our fire main is going to be charged i hope you got a good understanding thank you